For the longest time, space exploration has been in the hands of a select few, with this number consisting mostly of big government agencies such as NASA. However, since the recent involvement of private companies in the space industry, it appears that a new dawn is upon us. Among the top companies ushering in this new dawn are SpaceX and Virgin Galactic two major companies seemingly competing for dominance in the industry. Several years down the line, neither seems to be backing down, which is why today we will be having a face-off. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be looking at how Virgin Galactic compares to SpaceX. Private Sector Giants once upon a time, spaceflight was regarded as something only the best and brightest astronauts could embark on, and however true that was, things are taking a turn pretty soon. In this new era, most privately owned space companies are in a race to put their space rockets to use and surpass limits none of its rivals have ever reached. From building rockets that are completely reusable, to those able to land on commercial runways instead of splashing in the ocean the old-fashioned way, space vessels are certainly improving for the better. Two of the top companies taking these huge strides are Elon Musk's SpaceX and Virgin Galactic owned by billionaire Richard Branson. On one hand, SpaceX has been a major player in the space game this last decade, securing contracts from NASA to resupply the International Space Station and doing so in record time. And on the other hand, Virgin Galactic has been developing high-altitude orbital flights years ahead of its rivals and positioning itself on the map as a space tech giant. They seem to have different specialities, so what makes these two companies rivals? Untold Rivalry SpaceX announced at its press conference in February that it would be launching its Crew Dragon into space for its second launch ever. Only this time, its passengers will be all civilian crew. The mission, which is called Inspiration 4, will be the very first all civilian spaceflight in history, carrying private citizens. This is a huge step towards the realization of SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk's vision for space tourism. The flight is to be financed by billionaire businessman and pilot Jared Isaacman, who enlisted the services of SpaceX Crew Dragon Resilience in a bid to not only inspire people but also to raise funds for the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. When the time comes, Isaacman would, of course, be part of the flight, serving as its commander alongside Haley Axeno a former bone cancer survivor, Christoph Sembrowski, a philanthropist to the Children's Hospital, and lastly, Sean Proctor, an entrepreneur selected after a private screening. The historical flight is scheduled to take off sometime in mid-September of 2021 and would be in orbit around the planet for three days. For the purpose of the flight, the Crew Dragon's docking aperture, which was used to dock on the International Space Station, would be replaced with a special dome-shaped glass at the tip of the resilience to allow the crew a 360 view of Earth and space. Coincidentally, or otherwise intentionally, Virgin Galactic announced the rollout of its new space plane, the VSS Imagine, on the same day as SpaceX. The VSS Imagine is an upgrade to Galactic's current space plane, the VSS Unity, which is still in testing phase. The VSS Imagine would be a lighter version of its predecessor, which would enable it to reach much higher suborbital flight altitudes at the same fuel consumption rate. Despite the fact that Virgin Galactic has been in the space tourism business a lot longer than SpaceX, achieving suborbital flights in 2018 and in 2019, it hasn't had much success in that regard of late. Unlike SpaceX's Crew Dragon that has had to launch on the back of a Falcon 9 rocket into orbit, the VSS series are taking into launch altitude by a White Knight 2 carrier. The White Knight 2s are galactic special flight carriers that lift the VSS series space planes to altitudes of up to 70,000 feet before releasing the space plane, which then uses its rocket boosters to launch itself into suborbital flight. Virgin Galactic has had just two crewed suborbital flights under its belt, the first of which was in 2018 with two pilots on board, the VSS Unity reaching an altitude of 82.7 kilometers, which by US standards is regarded as outer space. And the second was in 2019, this time with a third passenger, 
Together, the three astronauts reached an 89.9 km suborbital altitude. Virgin Galactic CEO Richard Branson has expressed aspirations of providing commercial rocket-powered point-to-point travel, stating that transporting civilians in its VSS space planes in intercontinental suborbital flights across the planet is one of the company's dreams. If you were wondering, the actualization of this dream would be like flying a space rocket to your next vacation spot on the other side of the planet in mere hours, maybe even minutes. Unfortunately, since its last flight in 2019, VSS test flights haven't been much of a success, with the VSS Imagine failing to reach a suborbital altitude of 80 kilometers, while Galactic's Imagine would be cruising at relatively low altitudes of 80 to 90 kilometers. SpaceX's resilience would be floating at an impressive orbital altitude of 549 kilometers in low Earth orbit. On different lanes, while it would seem both companies are in some type of competitive space race due to their shared dream to one day convey paying customers into space, or at least try to, it isn't as clear-cut as it seems. SpaceX is actually more focused on launching ordinary people into space, or at least into orbit around the planet in a tourism capacity. The company actually aims to ferry people to the moon, which was previously reserved for astronauts, and even intends to go as far as transporting to, and ultimately colonizing, Mars. Virgin Galactic, on the other hand, is more concerned with suborbital travel, providing high altitude, ultra fast travel in its high tech VSS space planes. The VSS planes are built to reach altitudes of up to 90 kilometers above sea level, giving it an upper hand in covering more landmass in less time. SpaceX is vertically inclined when it comes to propelling its vessels into space, launching on the back of its star rocket launcher, the Falcon 9. The company is in the business of taking space planes and satellites into outer space, and ultimately reaching Mars in deep space. Virgin Galactic, however, is tilting towards a more advanced flight business orientation, taking off its space planes from a special runway at its facilities and touching back down on any commercial runway anywhere in the world. It's more grounded or down-to-earth in its business approach in comparison to SpaceX. Virgin Galactic's vision is more profit-orientated, targeting high-paying customers willing to pay upwards of $200,000 for a high-tech, high-speed flight, cruising through low Earth orbit and experiencing zero gravity on their way to another city on a different continent which will most likely take minutes instead of hours. Richard Branson has revealed that his company intends to increase its fleet with five new space planes, covering over 270 flights and generating up to $590 million in revenue by 2023. Galactic intends to establish its place as a pioneer company in a market that is virtually non-existent at present but is projected to grow to be a multi-billion dollar industry by the US Chamber of Commerce in 20 years. SpaceX's vision for its future has been on full display for years, with Elon Musk reiterating his ambition to land the very first humans on Mars and subsequently establish a settlement on the Red Planet by 2050. The company's continuous wins with NASA and effective timeline put it in a great position to achieve these goals, and we'll be right here watching it all unfold. Would you like to be floating in a spacecraft in space for a few days if you could? Or would you be more comfortable in an ultra-fast space plane? Let us know down in the comment section below, and smash that like button while you're at it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other videos.